Hello everyone, I am Pratik, I am the founder of MakeForms and welcome to the day one of the Form Guru series by MakeForms. So with this series what we are trying to do is help you build powerful forms of course by using MakeForms. So uh, this series is for everyone uh, whether you are a MakeForms user or if you are not uh, we, we strongly feel that forms are the most powerful element on the web and we want you to build beautiful and powerful forms. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to post one video every day on how to use make forms to build powerful and secure forms. You can let me know in the uh, comments below as to what kind of forms we would like to create. Initially, we will start by creating very simple forms and slowly and gradually as we move ahead in our journey, we are going to create very powerful forms. This can be calculators, this can be forms that use logic and, and uh, to call the APIs to create chat GPT uh, powered forms and, and all the different kind of forms that, that you can just imagine about. And uh, as I say, mention below in comments what kind of forms are you looking for and eventually in few days, I will try to uh, create those forms for you. So right now I'm on the homepage of MakeForms website and uh, you can either click on the try for free button or you can click on login. And as soon as you do that, you would be taken to this uh, sign in page. It's very simple. All you have to do is um, just go in and enter your email address. Uh, I'm going to put in my email address. And as soon as you do this, uh, you will get an email. Uh, you have to just uh, click on the link. You can either do that or you can also click on uh, continue with Google. And now as soon as you log in, the first thing that you will see is an option to select the data center. So the first thing to remember is that whenever you create your uh, MakeForms account, uh, you must select your data center because every MakeForm account uh, whether free or uh, a paid plan comes with one personal workspace and uh, the workspace that you uh, sorry the data center that you will select will be associated only with your personal workspace if you are on the agency plan that allows you to create multiple workspaces uh, you can definitely select the data center for your own workspace so for now uh, i will select the eu data center uh, we need to understand that each data center comes with its own compliances. So all the data centers are HIP, are PIPEDA, CCPA and Australian DPA compliant. Uh, however, the GDPR compliance is available only in the EU data center and the HIPAA compliance is available only in the US data center. So if you are looking for GDPR uh, compliance, you will select the EU data center. If you are uh, looking for the HIPAA compliant, forms then you will click on the US data center. You cannot have GDPR compliance in the US data center and you cannot have HIPAA compliance in the EU data center. So for now I am just going to select EU and I am going to proceed. As soon as you do that the first thing that happens is that you will be given a short onboarding. Uh, you can choose to skip that. Uh, I would uh, select the uh, this pretty quick. and I'm going to proceed. As soon as you do that, the first thing that will happen is that the premium access will be unlocked for you for seven days. With this premium access, you can just go through all the features of make forms uh, and, and just use it uh, without having the burden to pay for a subscription. I'll just close this. And now as you can see, uh, the first thing that I'll see on the top left uh, is the workspace. So as I did mention you, uh, the the default workspace is your personal workspace. You can switch to different workspaces. So you you either create the workspace for yourself, or you can also have someone else add you to the workspace. So if someone else adds you to your workspace, your work uh, the the workspaces that are shared with you will come down over here at the bottom. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, create a new workspace. So when you will you use a, a make forms workspace is something that that is very important to know so let's say you have you, you run an agency and you have 
two or three different clients and now you want to create workspace for each of them uh, because you, you really don't want both of them to see each other's forms so in such a case what you will do is you will create a workspace let's say i'm creating a workspace for uh, new york dental clinic let's give this hypothetical name and since it's a dental clinic uh, and and we are collecting patient information what i want to do is i want to uh, have this forms hipaa compliant so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save all this data in the us data center and i'll click on create now the, as soon as you uh, create a workspace you can also see the kind of data center that you are in and then you can rename the then this so i'm just gonna say ny dental and update the name of the workspace this way you can update your workspace names i will quickly shift to this workspace and now you can see that at the top i am in the app.us this means that i have successfully shifted from the uh, eu data center to the us data center now uh, again like the the entire dashboard remains completely same so it's like uh, your account has two different instances one in the us and the another one in the eu i'm quickly going to switch to my personal workspace which is here and now uh, we'll just i'll just walk you through what it looks like to be inside make forms so the first thing that you would see is all these different menus we will come to each and every uh, section uh, eventually but the second thing that you can see here is the folders so the first way to uh, separate your uh, data is through creating multiple workspaces but if you want much better organization of your forms uh, then you would use folders for them so i will just create a form uh, folder and name it day one form view and i'll create it um, and uh, you can edit the name uh, no you cannot sorry uh, you can just uh, delete this and then let's say i'll do day one of form view and i'll create this okay so we have this fo uh, folder created now when you um, what we'll do is we'll first create a form so when you click that you get two different types of forms one is the standard form and the another one is one at a time form uh, how they are different is something that we will look into uh, later but for now i will just create a standard form here you get three options one is start from scratch another one is to choose a template uh, so we've already got pre-made templates to choose from about 9000 odd templates or you can let AI create form for you. How you can use AI to create a form is something we'll see it at a later stage. For now, I'll just click on start from scratch. I will say a basic contact form. You can either select the uh, folders. For now, we will not select any folders. And then this is something very interesting, which is select form language. So most of the form builders that you will uh, see in the market, uh, what they do is that they don't allow you to select a form language. And, and most of the forms are always built using English. But this might not be the most ideal scenario for you if you have like many clients in different countries and if English is not your primary language. In that case, what you can do is you can uh, select the form language, but for that, you will have to enable those languages in your account. So as you can see over here, we have an option that says enable other languages. And when you click them, uh, you will be taken to your settings page, uh, which can also be accessed from your uh, left hand sidebar. And here you can see that there is a section called uh, internationalization. And if you click on edit, uh, you can actually add more languages. So I'll just click on Spanish, uh, German, and I will also click on Arabic and I will just update the list of my languages. You can anytime come back to this settings page from the left hand side menu, go to the profile and under profile in the internationalization section, you can add as many languages as we have supported. Okay, so now I'll just close this. I'll 
create a form again standard form start from scratch uh, basic contact form and now you can see okay i just forgot to refresh sorry so i will refresh this i will create a form standard form start from scratch and here you can see that all the languages that i had set up uh, they have they are now reflecting here so for now for our demo i will just select english and write a basic contact form and i will create this form for now i'm not putting it inside any folder we will do that later so now as soon as you click on create form you are inside this uh editor which is spread again in three different columns and there is a uh, a very logical separation of concerns here so in the left hand side you have all the different form fields we will go through each of them in in very detail very soon this is your playground uh, where you have three sections welcome form and thank you and then in the right hand side you have uh, all the settings so what you will always do is that in the left hand side you will add the elements and you will drag drop them on the on the canvas and then whenever you want to uh, change settings of anything you would just go to the right hand side to change the settings uh, by default uh, there is this header element which is included um, I kind of sometimes use it I would sometimes delete it and then uh, I'll just add a uh, uh, in a random field for this for now I've just added name field now I'll go uh, I'll start with the basic the first thing is the welcome and as the name suggests uh, this is a welcome screen so uh, maybe uh, before filling up the form you just want your user to you know like read out something uh, before filling up the form so I'll just uh, by default we don't enable it you have to go to the welcome tab and enable the form and then uh, you can you know like there will be a simple welcome text you can we'll say uh, form welcome to the form guru series okay and in the left hand side you can see that as soon as we did shift from the form to welcome uh, the the elements that are available in the welcome screen have changed okay so what you can do is you can add those elements like this is a divider uh, and then maybe what we can do is we can add more text uh, we can add an image a video again like we'll go through all of those things in extreme detail once we start creating a form for today I'm just doing a, a, a simple walkthrough then we have the form uh, you can either uh, drag drop the fields or you can just click them as soon as you click them they will be added to the canvas and then the third option is the thank you uh, which is the screen which your users will see after they fill their form uh, so this is by default enabled because you cannot have a form and not a thank you screen uh, welcome screen is definitely optional so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to click this you can change the image again you need to uh, see this that whenever you click on anything uh, the right hand side settings basically changes and and this is different for every uh, different kind of field that you add again as i, I did tell you uh, the diff when when we did shift from form to the welcome screen the fields changed again when we uh, go from the form to thank you the fields change so depending on which uh, area are you in the fields will keep on changing uh, now here you can see that we did create this form in english there are other ways to uh, there are ways to create forms in in different languages uh, but we this is a little advanced so we'll come back to that later at the top you can see that there are options like design tab so anything that you create you can just go into the design tab uh, you can uh, view this so you can see this that we just did add the welcome to form guru series and a divider uh, in the welcome screen then the form and then the thank you so you can actually view uh, each of them uh, in in the design phase so and from the design phase you can we have all those different kinds of form templates that you can select from and if you have your forms in multiple languages you can also see the preview of each form language so i think we've built a very basic three field form now what we are going to do is we're quickly going to publish this so I will hit on publish 
and when I click on preview you can see that uh, the form is loading so that's it I think uh, for today uh, this is all that I want to uh, do and uh, in, in tomorrow's uh, episode we're going to um, deep dive into the form fields and how you can change the settings for each and every field how those differ and what are the field settings what are form settings so we'll go through all of those into details um, tomorrow so stay tuned again please let me know uh, what kind of uh, form are you looking to create the more you tell me the more i will be able to create hyper personalized videos for you video i will be able to create forms for video uh, you know, like video for forms uh, based on your requirement and and we we'll, you know like someone is searching for uh, a certain type of form but they really don't know how to uh, create those forms so we will be in fact helping those people so please please be as much um, you know like collaborative as you can because the more you tell me i will be able to produce more hyper targeted content uh, for you guys so that's it for today everyone thank you for uh, visiting the form guru series please do subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest update that's it signing off pratik here from make forms thank you everyone